Okay, the title of this video is why you should raise your prices. You're probably selling for way too cheap. Um, why you should raise, I mean, it should be self-explanatory. I would hope it is anyways at this point if you watched a ton of my videos. Um, if not, if you're brand new, um, then I will, I'll tell you then. I'll, I'll tell you maybe why and, and how and uh, the benefit that you get from raising your prices. First of all, people value what they pay for. The more they pay for it, the more they value it. Um, if I spend $100 on something versus $1,000, I am okay with, if I, if I give $100, I'm okay with a little bit less value than I am if I spend 1000 Right, but if I spend a thousand, I feel and I get value at it. I feel really good about spending a thousand dollars for something. Um, an easy way to think about that is a hundred dollar watch versus a thousand dollar watch. Uh, I get a hundred dollar watch. I feel pretty good about it. I like my watch. It it, it serves a purpose. It's functional. Uh, I spend a thousand dollar watch. I'm going to value that a whole lot more. I probably have an, a special spot in like a a dresser drawer for it, or on top of my or a um, on top of the dresser, or uh, maybe in the bathroom somewhere, or even like in a safe. Um, but I value it more, okay? Um, if you have ever had, if you've ever driven both a, a really crappy vehicle and then had a really nice vehicle, you know what I'm talking about. The crappy vehicle, like you didn't value that. You, you maybe beat it beat it to heck and uh, drove it, maybe went a little bit faster around the corners and wore out the tires a little bit more than you would if it was a nice vehicle. You know, you get a nicer, a nicer truck, let's say, you're going to take good care of that sucker. You're going to, every Saturday like me, you're going to the car wash and you're washing it with all, all the rest of the guys. Um, but we value what we pay for, and that is just a, a fundamental human truth, okay? So um, by selling cheaply, you're not giving your customers the opportunity to properly value your product, all right? If they do not properly value your product, um, they do not value you or your business or the relationship that they have with your business, which is problematic if you're hope hoping to sell to them consistently over time, if you want to keep them for the long term as customers, Right, and which is which is really problematic when at selling at a low price, the only way you make money is by selling either a, an incredibly high volume, or you sell to the same person for a really long time to finally kind of recover or find a little bit of profit at some point, right at the end of the rainbow, as they say. So, um, why you should raise your price? First of all, it it's better for your customer. They will value your product more. Absolutely, straight up the customer will value it more. Second, it'll filter out all the people who are buying based on price. Um, and if people are buying, if your customers are buying based on the price you're selling at, um, it's because you need, you have not done a good enough job yet at giving them a reason to buy other than price, okay? And so it's gonna eliminate kind of the holes in your game, right? The gaps that you need to be, that you need to fill in your business to really strengthen and build your business, okay? If people are buying only because if people are buying from you because the only reason you've given them to buy is the price, well, then there are, there's a lot of things that you can improve. You could educate them. You could give them health benefits, nutrition benefits. You could talk to them and ask them questions and find out why they're buying, what they value, you know, how they think about food. Do they is food just fuel, or do they love? Um, they think of food as like an art form, as cooking as an art form, and they like to. That's how they tell their love their loved ones, their family, that they love them is by cooking, you know, really uh, wonderful meals. Find out why they're buying, and then position your product and your business at, in a way that that provides the value that they're actually buying from you, right? Rather than just selling a product, selling beef at a low price or an affordable or a cheap price, okay? Um, another reason why you should raise your price is because it's more po profitable for you. And cash flow is paramount, but profit is what allows you to retire. <laughs> profit is what allows you to sell the business. Profit is what allows you to live the life that you want to live and have the freedom, both financial freedom and time freedom, that is probably at the core of why you started the business in the first place, right? Is to be able to live the life that you want to live and to have that freedom, that flexibility. And it's profit, not cash flow. It's profit um, that buys that for you, that buys you your time and buys you your lifestyle, okay? It's the profit. So the fastest way to increase your profit is to raise your prices. And before you think about it, yeah, you're going to lose a couple customers if they're the wrong type of customers, but that's okay because if they are, you didn't want to be selling to them anyways because the type of customer who only buys based on a low price, who is shopping around for the cheapest option, they are the biggest headache customers. They're the worst customers to have. You don't want any more of them. You want to get rid of all of them. Instead, you want to find people who are price resistant, who are willing to pay a premium above anything that they can find in the grocery store. And those people exist. There are millions of them in the United States alone. 
millions of them, and they're spending billions a year on food and, and billions a year on protein alone, whether that's beef, chicken, pork, etc. Okay, so they're out there. You just need to position yourself in a way that allows them to identify you. Because if you're selling at a low price or you're selling at a an affordable price or you're the cheapest option around, those high-end buyers are never going to find you because they don't shop that way. They don't want to buy the lowest. They don't want low quality, low value, low price. They want the highest quality, the highest value, the highest price. In every market, in every city, I don't care how small your your area is, how, how small the population is, there are people who only want to buy the highest price. And sure, it might be just the highest price they can afford, but they only want to pay the highest price. And in the, and in and among those people, there are people who just have unlimited amounts of money, or they have a lot of money, or they've prioritized their health and food above other things in their life, and they're willing to spend and to pay the absolute highest price in the market for the things that they value the most. And there are so many people who value food above other things, above vacations, above having snowmobiles and four wheelers and boats and you know all these other like toys and and ways that we kind of waste money or spend or invest money right um, they would rather have the best food the highest quality food all right so if you're selling the lowest price you'll you're not giving those people that you want to have you're not giving them an opportunity to find you to identify who you are and to buy from you um, the easiest way to do that is by raising your prices. You raise your prices and you become the highest priced in your market and I guarantee you all of a sudden, and this is true and I've seen it so many, many, like hundreds of times now, hundreds of times, that those people in, in your market will find you. The people who only want to pay the highest price, they will find you. You will rise to the top amongst all of your competitors and those people that you want to attract will find you and because you're the highest price, highest value, they will buy from you and they'll buy from you forever and you'll make way more money than you are right now selling at a competitive price because there's no such thing as competitive competitive pricing that's for commodities that's for service businesses who don't understand how to market or sell or position themselves that's not for you if you're here watching this video you're far more you're more sophisticated marketing wise and you have a growth mindset you're more sophisticated marketing wise than 99 percent of all the, the the producers out there the beef producers if you're watching this video absolutely hands down um and so go raise your prices raise your prices and see what happens um, test me on this because it, it will absolutely work and it's going to shock you. Um, here's what not to do though. Don't raise your prices and then wait around. All right, That's a recipe for madness. It's a recipe for frustration and anxiety. Raise your prices and double down on doing the best, most effective marketing strategies and tactics that you know of. Okay, And if you don't have any or if you're wondering what those are, I've made literally dozens of videos that go over those that are free on YouTube. Um, and you can go learn what those strategies, tactics, and methods are. The best way to spend your time and your energy and your attention on growing your customer base or on selling to new people or selling more of your product to your existing customers. I've shown you how to do that in lots of other videos. So go raise your prices and implement the very best marketing strategies. And of course you're going to. You wouldn't be here watching this if you weren't. So you have a growth mindset. You know that you need to do more of the best things, less of the average things, and you need to raise your prices so that your profit can increase so that you can actually take a freaking weekend off once in a while right now and enjoy your life while you build your business because it's not binary. You don't have to build your business to $20 million a year in sales before you enjoy your life, before you can take an afternoon and go play kickball in the yard with your kids or before you can you know, lace up your running shoes and go for the first, you know, a jog or go sledding with your with your kids or have a nice dinner with your spouse like you can live a wonderful life while you build your business you just have to um, implement and actually do do implement the things that are working for other people that do, are delivering them the majority of the results that you want to have and experience in your business do that and you'll never have to worry about the business succeeding or, or failing it'll it will succeed you'll succeed you'll make more money than you know what to do with and that's a good problem to have and don't let that fear of making money stop you from doing the work today that will get you where you want to be which is ultimately it's having time freedom right that's what entrepreneurship is really all about and almost Almost in like every single entrepreneur on the planet, the reason why they they start a business is for the ultimate goal is always freedom of some sort, freedom from stress, freedom from anxiety, from worry, freedom. They want time freedom, financial freedom. They want you know the freedom to do or the freedom to become, right? To do something that they they can't do right now or they're unable to do, or the freedom to become 
something that they're not right now, right? And so, so, so go implement. You wouldn't be here if you're not. Um, Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. Like always, if you have questions, send them to me, Cam at grassfedmarketing.org, email, or grassfedmarketing at gmail.com, or on Instagram at grassfedmarketing. Send them to me as a direct message. All right, thanks, guys. See you later.